I get it. I'm nobody's fool. I let my guard down. Left him alone a couple more nights than I should. You told me to be careful. He won't take much more, you said. I'm just looking out for you, you said sliding the curtain to the side, the block empty, holding my glass with my whiskey, my red hair out of sight. He loves this hair, smelling it against the back of my neck, like a boy out at sea gravitating towards it in a crowded room in the back of a bar high above out the window with my whiskey on the couch you owe me a new fucking goddamn bed also, four new sets of sheets and four bottles of whiskey. One I used to burn the sheets and the other three you drank. Maybe you think it's easy because of all the others. Pretty boys with wide shoulders and dark eyes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there'll be someone else in my bed tonight. Or, I should say couch. Because you poisoned my bed by being there. Sympathies all round. My goddamned whiskey. So we've got a problem, sweetie, because I loved this one, real hard loved this one, his smell, the way those kind eyes looked at me, maybe the way your eyes looked at him. First accidentally brushing your hand across his, sticking his fingers in your goddamned hair. Maybe I don't blame you. Or maybe I do. Yeah. I do. So, it's time to slide that curtain and look out the window. Maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. The red hair, that boy, knock, knock. It's me, sweetie. It's me.